Okay, guys, Sean Scott here for WrestleLine, and I'm joined, I have to say, uh, incredible talent here, right set next to me, uh, none other than Adam Maxted. How are you doing? Ian Basildon here at Tangate, All-Star well. Wrestling. Uh, I think it's only my maybe second time being back here, right. um, but obviously it's always great to wrestle for All-Star, um, especially on the 50th year. Um, and, you know, maybe in kind of only a couple of years in, I've been able to work for Brian Dixon um, the past couple of years, and it's been a, a phenomenal experience to be in there with some of the best of, of the UK. Obviously, he still has uh, um, as part of his roster. So it's great to be back in Basel and great show tonight and uh, looking forward to, to next month. Just uh, a point there on All-Star Wrestling. I mean, as you said, 50th year, unbelievable how much it's been cemented in British wrestling. What stands out to you as far as what distinguishes it as a different promotion in your terms as a, as a performer? Uh, what does All-Star have that maybe others don't? What is that magic? Uh, for me, it, it has everything. Um, it has some of the, the best wrestlers. Um, they can go out there and have a phenomenal wrestling match. Mm -hmm. They have, obviously, family entertainment. They have uh, matches that just have incredible high flat action, you know, luchadors, cruiserweights, everything. And um, the full roster can offer, uh, you know, a, lo a lot of stuff. Um, and obviously, when you think of the amount of people that have wrestled for Brian Dixon and All-Star over the years mm -hmm. that have then gone on to do, obviously, huge things in wrestling, it's just very motivating for me to be a part of this team to then hopefully, you know, make something of myself in the future. And I can look back and say, like, just like those stars did, mm -hmm. I worked for Brian. I work for All-Star Wrestling, so it's a real great opportunity that I'm very uh, privileged to be a part of because Brian doesn't just use anyone. He, you know, he kind of invests in people, and um, it's just been a great couple of, couple of years working for him. Sure, um, and obviously we're at the start of the year, 2020. Do you set yourself some goals as a performer, or do you just take it as it goes? Um, not, so, not so much goals. I just want to obviously stay as busy as I can, keep, keep learning, keep improving. Uh, the main for me is just to wrestle as much as possible. Um, I wrestled a lot last year, um, a lot of like Butlin stuff, camps and things, and um, a lot of lo love for Brian as well. So for me, it's just stay busy, keep learning. Um, you know, again, I'm only a couple of years in, obviously, uh, on the back doing the reality TV stuff. That's mm -hmm. when obviously my career took off in England, and uh, I'm just very, I've, you know, I don't give myself enough credit sometimes that like I've put in a lot of hard work, and mm -hmm. obviously the whole TV thing's kind of died down now, and I'm just hopefully being known more now as just a wrestler instead of just oh you're that guy from Love Island. So, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just it's just great, and uh, obviously. Big goals, just like I said, just keep learning, keep improving, and keep getting better. Sure, and uh, I'd ask everybody this. Obviously, growing up, uh, was you a fan of the business? Was you a wrestling fan? And if so, who were some of those wrestlers that stood out to you growing up? And also, since you've been training, have you, as it made you sort of look at things a bit different and you now sort of acknowledge other wrestlers, whereas maybe you didn't in the past until you've learned the craft? Yeah, yeah. Um, so growing up, I was in foster care right. when I was like maybe that four way. or five. Mm -hmm. And my, that's my first memory of wrestling. Uh, sure. The guy that looked after me, he used to go to his... Uh, his mum's house, right. and um, they would put on like WCW, and that was my first right. glimpse of wrestling. Um, so like Sting and stuff back in the day is, is what stands out to me. But obviously, nowadays, I'm being distracted That's by okay. another <laughs> another hench wrestler, as you can see. Um, this this is what wrestling's about. This is what I love as well about this about this is what I love about this All Star team is that although we're serious and we go out and wrestle, yeah, yeah. like we're all like a team, a family as well. I'm um, so sorry about that. Um, but um, looking back, like I. Growing up, I didn't know who Rick Rude was and stuff, like Mr. Perfect, people like that. Um, so going back and seeing stuff like that is uh, you know, phenomenal. And uh, you can pick up things because there's a kind of current style that people are doing at the moment. But you can go back and watch that old stuff and try and implement some of that stuff that fans maybe haven't seen or have forgotten about. And you know, kind of tweak it yourself and see how it would work for you. But um, for me at the moment, I'm like a huge Randy Orton mixed with the Miz kind of because he's got the charisma Orton's got the cool and I kind of try and blend stuff together and obviously I've got the reality TV link as well so you know maybe in the UK if I uh, go on to do bigger things and stuff maybe I'll kind of be the UK kind of Miz and Orton kind of that's my you know yeah. And uh, how would you describe your style, your in-ring style? Are you still modifying and adapting, critiquing as you're going along, or do you think you've just, you know, you found it now? Or do you think there's never a time where that comes? No, nah, I don't think there's ever a time where, like, you're like, you get in there and you're like, oh, I've just, I feel like I'm always hungry and passionate to learn and keep improving, keep trying new things. Some things aren't going to work, some things will. And uh, I think it's just about adapting. Every time you're in the ring, there's, you're gonna, you know, you're going to learn something every time you're in, especially if you're in with someone that's more experienced than you. Sure. Um, so just constantly, keep, like I say, keep trying to learn, keep trying to, uh, you know, try new moves, try new things. Um, I still train weekly up in uh, in uh, Newcastle with Rampage. Um, he's got a great school up there. And, you know, there's, I did, you know, I'm quite athletic for my size, so there's always new things that I want to try, and there's things that I do try, and I feel miserably, and I'm like, you know, I always kind of try it in the training school first, yep. and if I can get it down a few times, and I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, let's, yeah, that's yeah. why a show like this is great to try stuff as well, because, you know, if you fall flat on your face, the crowd aren't overly going to, yeah, you know, whereas yeah. if you're on an adult crowd, they're going to know straight away yeah, that, yeah. you know, and you'll get a negative reaction, whereas here, kids just want to see mm -hmm. action, and just, you know, they'll get behind you as soon as you walk out for the curtain, sure. you know, so... 
Yeah, yeah excellent. And where can people find you on social media? I'm sure it's there, but uh, where can they go and if they uh, want to follow you? Instagram and Twitter is just at. Uh, it's just at. <laughs> it's just as you uh, can see. It's professional here. Yeah. We we got some some comments over the time. Um, we'll start that one again. Where can we find you on the social media? You can find me um, on social media, uh, Instagram and Twitter at just at Adam Maxted. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you Cheers. Good luck Cheers. for the future. Thank you, mate.